Hey guys, it's Melissa's husband Andrew, and we are at the store to get some apple pressing stuff. It's fall season, the leaves are falling, kids are getting ready for Halloween, which also means those apples are starting to get ripe and ready to pick. Well, in our backyard, we've got those apple trees, and we're going to be using those to make some apple cider. Does that sound good? Yeah! And some adult beverages, the hard apple cider for the parents. Melissa will like that. So right now we're at the store getting the supplies. Let's do this. All right, well, we've been at a couple stores trying to find everything. Um, wasn't the most uh, smooth, but we did it together. And I think we've got what we need. So we're gonna get back and get started. And hopefully by tomorrow, we'll have this apple press ready. And we'll be drinking and sipping back on some apple cider. Hi guys. Well, we got busy with chores last night and it's the next morning. Kids are at school. I have the day off, so it's a great day to get started on finishing that apple press. First priority, some of Melissa's coffee. Fresh roasted. You can check out one of her old videos where she describes how to roast fresh green coffee. The other supplies I have laid out on our deck. We've got a couple 2x4s. A 4x4 cut. I made my cuts with my skill saw and this awesome, I don't even know what it's called, but this helps get your cuts perfectly straight. Use my tape measure, of course. I have some leftover hardware that I'm going to be using to help secure it. Of course, I have my drill bits and my socket wrench and my drill. So I had a little intermission. This is how far I've gotten, but now I've got Aiden to help. You ready to start helping Aiden? some serious work on this apple press and it is almost ready to start being used. Since my last clip I've added these two 2x4s right where the 4x4 is. It's going to expand the depth so that this will rest on there and stay balanced. And this tub is a normal six gallon food grade tub. I just drilled a bunch of 5 8 holes in it. That's going to allow the apple juice to seep out. These elastic top strainers. These are paint strainers. This is going to keep the pulp and just allow that juice to spread out. A couple other features of this apple press are that we have this. It's sized to the base of the bucket and I'll put it under the jack here. We'll be pressing it and it'll slowly lower pressing all those apples into some great cider. The cider is going to drain through these holes here. It'll be in our bucket here. Another important step in the apple press is crushing the apples. I used a $100 disposal from Home Depot, built a little shelf on it, and drilled out a little hole for the electrical wire, and just took a normal stainless steel kitchen mixing bowl and attached it to the disposal. So we'll pour our apples in here. Crushed apples will fall out of here, and then we'll use that in the paint strainer bags to press in the cider press. So I'm getting really excited. The family is ready to get involved and stay tuned. 